January 9th, 1945. This is Lingayen Gulf, Luzon. Four divisions landing abreast. We had expected a very different kind of greeting than these cheering Filipinos, who told us the Japs had pulled back two days before. let the clothes fool you. Men like these kept the war going in the Philippines long after the Japs said it was over. to Manila, we pushed our left flank deep into the mountains to the north. Some targets a ground soldier can't reach. Some targets a sky soldier can't see. So they work together. Mountains would have to be bought with battle. Well, I think they're going to be doing OK. They're flying down there at 20 degrees out, but they're doing OK. They're doing OK. this ridge directly to our rear, which is about uh, 2380 on the map. Company, moving to F Company's present position, located on this high ground back there. They're going to pass through F Company and attack up towards the same hill, 2380. Now, can you give me a concentration on that hill? On 2380? Right. Yes, we have the 4.2 mortars, the 155, 105, and 75, all zeroed around that hill. Right in there. Sam, I'd like a little 81 in there, if you possibly can get me, and get direct fire with an assault gun. Yeah, and we'll land right in there. Okay, Sam, I'd like a lot of light phosphorus in there. I want to mark it well for his artillery concentration and also for a screen for these troops to move up in this direction. <laughs> a hillside, it's slow because you've got the hill against you along with the enemy on it. It's slow going up, sometimes slower coming down. Meantime, the main force sped down the central plains. Back of enemy lines was an important human objective, Cabanatuan the prisoner of war camp. If we fail to reach these men, they'll be taken with the retreating Japs on another death march. Hand-picked guerrillas and a company of rangers started on the rescue mission, 25 miles behind enemy lines. The 
living ghosts of Bataan. A thousand days and nights ago, the death march began. These are the few who finished it. Today, they are free. Tuan was a grim reminder that Filipinos and Americans were waiting in Manila. forces landed, and the human vice closed. GIs were in the outskirts. Crawling under a ballpark fence is an old American custom. Rizal Stadium, a baseball diamond. No game today. still, from baseball park to business district. This is a new type of jungle for island hopping GIs, a jungle of broken buildings and smashed streets, but the same kind of Japs they've always been. Yamashita had orders from Tokyo. Hold Manila or burn it. This innocent looking piece of paper translates as follows. Japanese field order of 13 February. All Filipinos found on the battlefield will be executed. Japanese field order obeyed. Between us, 
Dallas and the walled city was the Pasig River. And Japs. Building to building, room to room, street to street, we brought battle to the Japs until they closed themselves behind the 14-foot thick walls of Intramuros, a fortress within a city. The jungle didn't stop these soldiers, neither did this wall. Back of the broken wall, broken Japs. them broken homes. Homes thousands of miles away, but American homes, because the people who lived in them shared with us the American spirit. This is the payoff of battle, the silent reward. Many have fallen that this one may rise. This one may smile. This one may forget. This one may heal. This one may walk. This one may find a home. This one may find peace.
February 1945. American objective, Corregidor. The general had an appointment with the past. Corregidor, the name of a rock. But it's more than a name. The way Valley Forge and the Alamo are more than names. These men will be jumping into the middle of American history. Those that live will be saying in the years to come, I was there. I jumped on Corregidor. still emptied their human cargoes, our low-flying fighters paved the landing beaches for waterborne GIs who had crossed over from Bataan. Twelve days after we had landed on the rock, Corregidor is again an American fortress. now be realized. On to Tokyo. While vast armies were being marshaled in the Philippines, the Marines won Iwo Jima. And Army, Navy, and Marine forces took Okinawa. Naval guns were knocking at Japan's coastline. And Saipan-based superports were pounding Japan's skyline. bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. All this, and MacArthur's impending invasion, broke the enemy. The red sun of Japan had set. The might of a free people had come at last to triumph over the lords of war. designated Allied Supreme Commander to accept the surrender of the Japanese. He was met by Lieutenant General Eichelberger, commanding the 8th Army. September 1st, 
1945 on the battleship Missouri. hope, and indeed the hope of all mankind, that from this solemn occasion a better world shall emerge out of the blood and carnage of the past, a world founded upon faith and understanding, a world dedicated to the dignity of man and the fulfillment of his most cherished wish for freedom, tolerance, and justice. I now invite the representatives of the Emperor of Japan and the Japanese government and the Japanese Imperial General Headquarters to sign the instrument of surrender at the places indicated. The Supreme Commander for the Allied Powers will now sign on behalf of all the nations at war with Japan. Will General Wainwright and General Percival step forward and accompany me while I sign? Representatives of the United States of America will now stand. Let us pray that peace be now restored to the world and that God will preserve it always. These proceedings are closed. Bye. Uh -huh. 